Hi, I'm Patrick for Patrick's Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how to build this awesome wall mounted cat house. Stay tuned and I'll show you how. I begin this project by ripping down some half inch plywood to manageable pieces. I also tilt my blade and cut a French cleat. Then I take it back into the shop and cut these pieces to the final dimensions. Now I do some layout to cut out the sides for the holes for the cats to get into the box. I then screw down some spacers on my work surface to keep my router bit from plunging into the work surface. Then I quickly temporarily pin nail the piece. Then I use a quick pocket hole template I made to line up the square. I pin nail that down and I'm able to pre-drill all four corners, get the jigsaw in there, cut it pretty close to the template, and I'm able to pull out the piece then I'm able to grab my pattern bit on my router and flush trim this all the way smooth to the pattern. Now I have both side pieces complete and I can move on to the next step. Now for the front. I pin nail the piece down, pin nail down a temporary pattern, pre-drill a hole, jigsaw out the circle. Here I use my pattern bit again and then I route out the inside of the circle. Then with a quarter inch round over, I round over inside the circles on both sides. I also round over the insides of the squares on both sides. Now I begin pre-sanding all the pieces before I do any assembly to make the uh, process a lot easier the farther I get. Now I set down two half inch pieces on my work surface and glue the front edge of the plywood. And then I clamp the front to the top which is upside down at this point and shoot a bunch of pin nails into it to hold it until the glue sets up. Now I can turn my attention to the two sides. I put glue on it and I pin nail those on making sure that the front is square. Then I flip it around and do the same thing for the other side. I apply glue, line it up and then pin nail it so the pin nails can secure it until the glue is dry. I now wipe off all the excess glue and prepare for the next step. Using my radio alarm saw, now I cut the bottom of the cat house to the right size. Now I want to round over the front corners, so I pin nail down a temporary pattern that I can jigsaw along the edge of it. Use my router and flush trim it to the edge, then I can use my palm sander and follow the profile to make it smooth. Then I flip the board around, then I do the same thing on the other side. Now I change out my router bit to a quarter inch round over and round over the edges on the top and bottom of this piece. This plywood's not the best in the world so I want to fill in any voids or imperfections with spackle that way it'll sand smooth later. Now to make a quick and easy way to hang this on the wall. So I'm going to go with a French cleat. And that consists of gluing on a French cleat, making sure it's the right orientation and I'm going to pin nail this down and come back and screw it later. And I also want to put a spacer at the bottom for the backer that I'm going to put on on the inside. So I'll pin nail that down as well. Now I'm going to pre-sand all the corners and get everything all tight. And now I'll begin pre-drilling screws to hold all these pieces together securely. I'll countersink all the holes as well and then I'll put screws making sure the heads of the screws are below the surface so when I come back and spackle it all the spackle will cover the holes and you'll never know they were there. After the spackle dries I sand everything smooth and flush. I also sand the bottom making sure it's as good as possible. And then I install a back panel, quarter inch, with some pin nails. And now I'm ready to mount the bottom to the actual cat house. I pre-drill, countersink, and now I clamp into position. And then I go ahead and pre-drill the box. And then I sink some screws into it to hold it. And now I glue and pin nail on a back support where I can screw it to the wall. Spackle everything, re-sand it, and now I'm ready to paint. Now 
Now that the paint's dry, I can show you how to hang this on the wall. Start by finding a stud. Now we'll pre-drill. And we'll install one screw. Now we'll check for level. Now we'll pre-drill the other side. And now we'll mount the last screw. You don't want to hang something this heavy on the wall without making sure you're into studs in the wall. Now that the cleat is securely mounted, we can hang the cat box. It hangs from the cleat. I would also mount screws and studs on this bottom support, but this is going to my cousin's house and I don't want to drill any holes into it. I'd rather let her husband hang it on the wall so he can make the original holes. With that said, this project is not complete. I appreciate you watching and sticking through the entire video. Please smash that thumbs up button for me. Leave me a comment, and if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I got a lot more awesome projects on the way, awesome past projects, so please check those out. Along with this project, I have a couple other cat shelf projects with a playlist. That link is down in the description. Go check those builds out as well. Check me out on social media. I'm most active on Instagram. Go check me out over there. I post project pictures, sneak peeks every day of the week. Go check me out over there. Well, that's all I got for this week. I thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'm out. <laughs>